Hey guys, um, before we get into the video, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that for whatever reason, I, uh, I don't have any film footage of doing the driver's side header install. I have no idea either I just, you know, I got in the zone and, and started knocking them out and forgot to uh, record that or, or whatever, but I just want to let you guys know that that side nothing difficult fancy uh slips right up in um, no need to take that number eight primary tube out just leave the header together and uh it, it bolts right up in there uh it's really slick uh highly recommend them cooks knocked it out of the park with those headers um but the, these headers are for your fox body chassis gen 2 gen 3 coyote stifflers oh well, we use the stifflers transmission mount like uh, I'll tell you here in the video coming up, um, and we use a 6R80 trans, so and the Maximum Motorsports uh, cross member in it. Uh, I believe these will also work with your five and six speed manual transmissions as well. But um, anyhow, let's get to it. Um, I just wanted to throw that in here. I put some pictures at the end of the uh, clip here uh, of the final install of both sides, so. Uh, Hopefully, um, these guys enjoy it, and uh, hope to hear from you in the comments, and uh, you know, the same old song and dance, like, comment, be sure to subscribe, we got a lot of uh, big things coming up, and hopefully I can get the, the videos out to you uh, in a timely fashion as we progress on the builds. So, anyhow, let's get to the vid. Got some parts here for the Mustang. Oop. Some headers from Cooks. Here's the part number. sweet but uh so our number one primary so we got a slip joint here and then also back to the collector Stage 8 locking fasteners. Nice. 
apparently the coyote motor was made with two different size fasteners. And they include both different sizes. So anyhow, we got fasteners. We've got stage eight lock and fasteners. That's a MLS gaskets from Cometic. those headers they look pretty nice so on the driver's side your number eight cylinder comes out and on the passenger side number one primary comes out and then it looks like well obviously your collector comes this a slip fit collector we got O2 sensor bungs in them, but yeah, that's Cook's new headers for the Coyote swap. And a Mustang with the 6R80 trans, uh, or like a, a, a Tremec 6-speed. Um, I think we used the Stifler's transmission mount. Ours has the 6R80 auto in it. Uh, Stifler's transmission mount, um, Maximum Motorsports K-member. And these are Cook's headers, and they are part number 1050-2202, inch and three-quarter, with three-inch collectors. Pretty nice piece. All right, so we're going to work on getting the headers on the Mustang here, but our first things first, what we got to do is get in here. I mean, Grab a flashlight. A little dark where we're going. Correction. Let me find the flashlight because I don't know where mine is. Oh, it's right there. Let's get that. All right. So we got to get in here. Oh. We gotta get all the studs, the factory studs out, because our headers came with um, some actually uh, nice hardware to to replace that. So, and we gotta figure out what size because apparently Ford, you know, these Ford guys know. They can't keep anything the same, so there's two different thread sizes, so we could get the studs out, and then we'll figure out what bolts we need to use, and when we know that, then we'll start putting the headers in, so here we go. primary up in there and it looks ew had to clean it all it looks like uh, it's gonna loop outside of the frame here jump around this and then go back in and back around but I think I want to put the starter on there first just uh, you know so we know everything fits so here we go, I'm going to go put the starter on, and then uh, we'll come back to putting the headers on. Um, I found out this motor uses the 10 by 1.25 bolts in it.
actually to get those headers up in there you have to take the starter out so leave the starter out put the headers in and they fit they're up in there they fit snug but uh, yeah pull up in there and you gotta you can put your the front primary tube on number one cylinder but you gotta leave that piece of it off until you put your other three primaries in and I took the collector off I probably didn't need to it's probably gonna make it a pain getting it back on because that was on there pretty snug but uh, as you can see some of these bolts they're fun to get to so that's what we're gonna work on get those up in there we'll get this side finished up and move to this side. all right so we got our header in um starter wise you have to leave this number one primary out and then you can get the starter in put your primary back in and then that'll fit but they fit really nice I mean you got clearance it's I mean it's tight but you got clearance everywhere so really nice you just got to get on start on the other side